the, the idea behind the band was to sort of challenge myself from a pianistic point of view. I'd never done something in the past where the piano had been the focus, so I wanted to give myself, um, you know, s some sort of some work to get on with. Um, the trio fits into um, the rest of what I do. I, I have, a, I have a, a big band that I run and a sort of medium-sized project as well. Um, but each of the bands um, give me an opportunity to compose, which is what I'm, I'm really interested in. Um, and the trio, I guess, it's just another outlet for my compositions. Um, but um, yeah, it's that thing of, of having more responsibility for, for what's going on and um, the closeness of the unit being able to interact with Dave and Pete and really get inside the grooves and think about rhythmically um, you know where, where we're going and where we can push the band. Um, I got into music, probably my older sister played, so I did that thing of following in her footsteps and checking her out when I was young and then it got to my turn to have piano lessons. Um, I did the grades and all of that and as an aside, um, I used to play in church, we had sort of church bands and, and that was my, my first outlet for improvisation. It's great to be part of Jazz North's Northern Line um, project. It uh, seems like it's going to be a fantastic scheme. I mean, for us, it's going to give us the opportunity to get together with lots of new promoters um, and hopefully tour the band um, and also just to meet the other musicians that are on the scheme and 
uh, sort of have some time together, comparing notes, as it were. So it's going to be um, it's going to be a really exciting year to be part of the project. Yeah. Um, going forward with this band, um, I mean Pete, Dave and I have been playing together for several years now so um, it's been an ambition, an ambition of ours to, to make a trio um, so I, I, I view this band as being a really long term project and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes not just in the short and medium term but um, you know from years in years to come you know and, and with it with the lineup being what it is, there's so many different directions, and we all enjoy playing um, standards and other people's compositions as well, as well as our own stuff. So, yeah, there's loads of scope for it to go in all sorts of diff different directions. From an audience's point of view, what, what I'm trying to achieve and what, what we're all trying to achieve as, as a band is just um, for them to be able to connect with music on whatever level. Um, you know, if they, if they feel that um, the melodies uh, are, are, are making a connection as they're listening to the music, then we're happy, you know. And um, yeah, maybe some, maybe some of the pieces um, need more than one or two listens, so it'd be great if if people felt like they wanted to come back 
and to listen to us again and they, they, they felt that there was something intriguing about the music um, that, that warranted it being worth a second listen.